Welcome to Wiggle Sticks TV. I had a bit of spare time today, so I thought I'd just play around with the uh, project bike a touch. Um, I had these wired up uh, to do the tail light and the brake light. Um, but I noticed the LEDs actually have the ability in there to do the turn signals as well. So I managed to get those all wired up, um, functions correctly. I need to figure out the Australian standards and all that kind of stuff for a roadworthy uh, point of view. And then also uh, tidying up the, the wiring here just to make it a bit cleaner and neaten it up a little bit. But everything connects as it should and it functions as it should when you flick the old turn signal either left or right up here and the display and stuff is also working which is handy so uh, the possibility of getting this on the road uh, seems a little bit more achievable now back in the garage today um, I'm going to rebuild the uh, fuel pump on this uh, from the 96 um, I have two fuel pumps and I think the good one I actually put in the bottom of this tank when I switched them over a while back um, so I'm just going to rip the tank off and um, then pull the fuel pump out and start to get to cleaning it and um, putting the new parts in that I got the other day so I've got a new gasket new uh, fuel pump and a new straighter. Uh, this is the other one I have and I'm pretty sure the one in the tank is uh, cleaner than this one so I'll just go about um, just go about starting to pull the tank off and get the other fuel pump out. There's no fuel in this tank, so I should be able to get away with um, not taking the tank completely on the bike, off the bike. These are only just um, lightly screwed in here anyway from memory, so uh, I'm just going to unscrew these. Um, gasket needs to be replaced anyway. Um, so I'm back over here now. Um, this is the one I just pulled out of the tank versus the one I have sitting here. Uh, so I'll just give this a little bit of a clean. Replace the strainer uh, with this one. And replace the motor with this one. Oh, sorry. Replace the motor with the new one. And uh, should be all good to go. So just had to clean the pump as you just saw. Um, I wasn't going to pull this off because I uh, didn't order the gaskets but I just had a look and the gaskets are in stock and I can pick those up tomorrow. So I'm going to um, pull the fuel tap part off and uh, clean everything around there as well. And I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to take that off to get the clean out under here in this um, base plate thing anyway. So here it goes. So I've got all this uh, rubber thing all cleaned up now. Got the new fuel pump. Uh, you can see it only goes in there one way. So push that one back in there. And then the new strainer. Just 
There's the replacement parts. And now it's just a matter of lining these holes all back up and we're good to go. So you can see they all fit back in their, in their own spots. Just over there. So yeah, it's probably easier to get this part seated because you need to have that at the right spot to go over the holes. Lines up to that one. Pump just slides back in there. Put this little piece on. The other fuel pump back together, but I thought I might have a go at uh, just pulling this one apart a little bit further and uh, seeing if I can clean this up, either just for spare parts for later on, or um, yeah, maybe actually because this strainer off the other one is actually fine, even though I replaced it. Um, it's but it's much better than this one that's all perished here. So I'll just go back and clean this with brake cleaner and um, see how well I can get it coming up from this messy gunky pile of rubbish and see what it ends up looking like i just finished cleaning um this the second fuel pump a couple of things i noticed that it's missing the little bracket l-shaped bracket that comes off here that secures the pump uh to the so it won't float around um, one of the last things i put on the other one um, if you do have a fuel pump that's in that bad of shape I would be ordering uh, the kit that has a little rubber thing in it because when I took the old um, strainer thing out of it, uh, it actually cracked all the rubber. It was so perished around there. So uh, if that, if this piece was still intact, I could. I think this fuel pump would be okay. It's missing that little bracket, like I said, and it's missing the the bolt that and the couple of washers that secure. Uh, the earth line or whatever it was, the power line that comes over to there. Um, but it actually cleaned up pretty well. And I mean, I think it's good as a secondary sort of solution in case, you know, you didn't have any, you couldn't find another one or you run out of money because these things are still very expensive to buy a new one. Um, but it is possible to clean them up. I put the compressed air through uh, the petcock and it flowed quite nicely through the system. Um, so I think I might just dig around and see if I can find another one of these rubber pieces. Um, not sure if I can order it from Suzuki or not. Uh, it probably comes in some sort of expensive kit. Um, and yeah, so at least I've got a spare parts kind of fuel pump now. One thing I did notice is the bolts are different in this one and the washers are different. Um, they don't seem to have the little gasket washer that sits between the bolt and the fuel pump like the other one did um, and I think that's what they should have this one I'm not really sure what the deal is so either someone's played around with it before but it does have the gasket between the petcock and the base plate uh, yeah so I mean it, was, it only took half an hour or something to clean that up but it's um, it might be useful down the track so I can't really do any more today until I get those other gaskets um, so yeah, that's it. I finally ended up getting the gasket um, and the little washers I need to finish off this fuel pump assembly. Um, I've also got a spare, so I've got two washers here, 
which you can just see, two spare washers and a spare gasket. So I'll keep those in my box of fuel pump spares. And then I'm going to install these two, uh, these two parts into this fuel part, into this fuel tab, and then I can put that back into the bike. Um, I'm going to use the old gasket because I have a sneaking suspicion this pump will probably come out again um, before I end up putting all this back together. Um, so before I'm ready to actually start it and put fuel in it, I'll just use the old uh, screws and the old um, gasket. Um, floating around here somewhere. Uh, here we are. So I'll use these as a temporary measure just to put it all back together. And then I have a new gasket um, in there that I can use when we're doing the final assembly a little bit down the track. So um, I'll just get to installing these washers and then uh, throw it back in the bike. And then this will be done. trying to find the torque settings for the um, for the bolts the best I can tell fuel pressure regulator bolts or the fuel pump mounting plate bolts uh, I think it's probably five newton meters so I will use my little torque wrench and uh, do these up to five they're in place now so I'll just put this in, back in the tank and um, this job is done so pretty simple little process um, nice to have it all wrapped up now and then when I get closer as I said before when I get closer to actually setting this um, bike in motion I will replace the gasket because I'm pretty sure this may need to come out at some point um, and it's all well, the tanks got to come off or something so better safe than sorry so thanks everyone who subscribed over the last little while um, we're kind of creeping up towards 200 subscribers um, which is nice so thanks again and i'll uh, see you in the next video